Hi and welcome to Howtopedia. This video is about how to make bulletin board letters easily in MS Word. The video also includes some tips and tricks that will help you do the job perfectly. So don't miss out any portion of the video. This will also help you for school projects, party banners and the like. So this is my standing board that I want to prepare for sports day. The width of the board is 31 inches, but after leaving the space for side borders, I want to adjust the coat at 20 inches to the maximum. So the first step will be to open MS Word. Change the orientation to landscape and if, and if you have long pages, adjust it to legal size. Otherwise, A4 will also be okay. Now choose the font that you like. I'm using a font that I like, which is uh, Mouse Memoirs. Then go to the Word Out option and choose a hollow one, since we only need the letter outline. Now I will type the code in the way that I want it on the board. So next, the next step then is to select the entire text and change the font size to something above 100. I've used 180 here, adjust the size so that the words that you want in one line on the board are also in a single line in the document. You can see here that are not people who is not fitting in. So I will reduce the font size here to 130. Now it fits, yes. So the next step now is to open the snipping tool, select new and select one line. My first line is winner so I will select that and snipping tool will automatically open it in a new window. So I'll press ctrl c to copy it and open ms excel blank workbook. Press ctrl v to paste it in the first cell of ms excel. Now as I told you earlier, I want the code to be of 20 inches, but I want winner word to be the center of the board. So I will go to the size panel and change the width to be of 15 inches and the height to be of 3 inch. You can change the size according to your requirements. Now that I've done all the settings, I'll take out the printouts. You can also use one side printed papers or use papers for the printing. All this might look intimidating but trust me, once you do it, you will find it the easiest. Now if you want complete words, that is you do not want each letter separately, then cut them together like shown and follow the same process that I show of individual letters. Now I'll make outline of the words using a marker so that we get an imprint of it on the back of the page. Make sure to use a good marker for the purpose since you need the impression on the back of the page. Now if you want separate letters like I have done, then you roughly cut each one of them and if you want complete words, then cut them together. Now that we have cut our letters, the next step is to stick them on the card sheet. See how my impression is showing on the back of the page. Now make sure to put the glue on the printed side. No need to put a lot of glue for this, just a little bit. When you stick them, the letters will look like mirror images, but that's how they're supposed to be. Now again cut the letters, this time more precisely since these are going now going to be our final letters. All this is really easy when you start doing it. And there won't be any size related errors when you put up your boards if you follow this correctly. I followed the same process for all the words. I put all the words that I wanted in red to be on the red card sheet and the black ones are on the black card sheet. And there you have it. I checked on the floor if everything was fine and then put it up on the board and it looked just perfect. Let me know if you have any questions regarding this and I will be glad to help you. 
If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend to help them too and subscribe to Howtopedia for more such content.